So you begin by breathing deeply, and the you that you tune into is your universal consciousness. Universal. And that seems like a long, far way from brushing your teeth today, from dressing this body, from looking in the mirror and thinking about what you're going to wear, but you are totally connected to this universal consciousness you are completely connected to this universal consciousness, and indeed, you are the universal consciousness. So when you breathe in now, you are asking your own consciousness to merge into the universal field, understanding that even this body, these thoughts, these egos, this everything, all this stuff, even everything that's happening on the surface of the earth is still universal consciousness. So you want to breathe it in and feel like you're breathing it in first into your lungs. And we're going to work with a beautiful sky blue energy today and simultaneously a very light colored pink. Very high vibrating and very peaceful pink energy. And then very high vibrating but very soft light blue. So we want you to see the pink energy coming in the left nostril, the light blue energy coming in the right nostril. The pink energy coming in the left nostril, the light blue energy coming in the right nostril. And then we want you to see that when you breathe them, they come up through the nostril, up over your head, and they touch in with what is known as your soul star, which is above your head. It's above the crown. And you allow yourself to really perceive your soul has an energy delivery device up above you. And it's kind of like a power station. So this blue and pink energy is coming up through the nostrils, up into the higher channels, coming through the soul star, and then you breathe it back down into your crown chakra. And as you breathe it into your crown chakra, that is the point you see the two energies begin to cross over, and then you see them come down into your pineal gland, which is behind your eyebrow in the pineal, and you see them cross over again, and then you see them cross over again at your throat chakra, and then you see them cross over again between your throat and your heart, and then you see them cross over again at the heart. Then you allow yourself to see them cross over at the solar plexus. This is deep inside your body. Then into the second chakra, then into the root chakra. It looks like the calcitus. It looks like the medical sign where the two channels are operating in union, solar and lunar together. And what you're doing is you're breathing it in from the divine aspect of the universe coming through your soul star and then asking this energy to activate each and every one of your chakras with the unified masculine and feminine matrix of creation. Activating the chakras to the higher consciousness. Now when those energies go through your root chakra, again we want you to see them now go down the legs, the pink going down the left leg, the, right, the blue going down the right leg, and feel as if your feet are plugs going into the earth. And you feel that those pink energies and blue energies are coming out your feet and through the floor and through the crust of the earth and through deep, 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 through all the waters, all the artesian waters. These are like electrical rods going through the artesian waters in the earth. Deeper, deeper, until all the crystal plates are there. And we want you to see this pink energy and this blue energy going simultaneously into the crystal plates. And those who are holding crystals, we want you to also see that that crystal in your hand, no matter how big or how small, that crystal in your hand is composed of planetary energy that has crystallized in form with a specific resonant frequency to assist the planet herself and all creatures on her to resonate at a planetary level. So I want you to feel that you're also giving that energy to the planet through your feet, but those holding the crystals are connecting that energy to the crystal. 
and those who aren't holding in energies, you allow yourself to feel. A lot of people are wearing some stone on their body and you think it's your necklace or it's your this, but really it is a plate of planetary matrix. It is a form that has been created out of universal energy. As we do this, you allow yourself, if you will, to say to yourself, I open my physical body. I allow it to calibrate to the higher fields of love and compassion that are flooding the earth now to assist humanity in its evolutionary cycle. Breathing deeply, long and deep breaths. As you do this now, you also allow yourself to breathe in that affirmation, not only to the physical body, but also to your earth body. Also to your earth body. And also to the planetary earth body. That you are calibrating your body to the higher principles of love and compassion for the earth, for all humanity, not just the ones that are like-minded, all humanity. As you were breathing this love and compassion into them, you were simultaneously becoming the frequency of those two energies. And as we said, it's like a calcitus. It is the healing aspect. It's a healing for all of us, each and every one of us, and each and every one who hears this meditation, and each and every one that you are bringing into your thoughts and into your hearts. And we all have people who operate against us in the world. We all have people who operate for us in the world, but we do not care what position any human being plays in our world right now. We're going to offer this energy of divine harmony to ourselves, to our world and to our brothers and sisters, no matter what part they are playing right now on the planet. And most of all, we are becoming conductors from this universal step-down energy into our Mother Earth as she herself provides the playing field for this evolutionary jump evolutionary jump. As you breathe in now, you allow yourself, if you will, to feel into your emotional body. And we've all had so many emotions and you can have your own emotions about it, but we know that the world is filled with lots of messages about what you should be feeling or what you shouldn't be feeling at this time on the planet. But we want to allow yourselves to everyone feel that your emotional body, that it is kind of like a fishbowl that has water and you know when you're trying to walk on a fishbowl and it has water, it'll fill all over the place until you learn to walk really in a balanced state. So what we want you to feel now is that this blue and pink energy that's running through your system at a very high level coming all the way into the chakras and electrical system, linking you to the earth and her resonant transmitters and receiving from your own soul. And then with this, we want you to feel that your emotional body can settle no matter what you've been going through that you can let your emotional body settle, not into the sludge, but just into like the big ocean on a peaceful, calm day. As you say to yourself, I open my emotional body. I steal the emotions, the torrents, and the currents just for the possibility of total alignment to my highest frequency and to purify the emotional body now so that the emotions I delivered outward are on a higher frequency level. Breathing deeply. This is a very deep affirmation. And as we do this, we also send this affirmation out through our instruments, 
to all human beings. And you know, there's a lot of emotional energy flying around on this planet. But we send it out without any judgment on what their emotions are. We just send it out as a stabilizing force. And just inside yourself, remember how good it feels when you look out to the ocean, which we all get the privilege to see here. And it's beautiful and it's calm and it reflects the sun. When you steal this, you allow yourself to feel you are sending it backwards through your genetics and forward through your genetics. The calm energy. As you breathe in now, you allow yourself to say, if you will, I open my mental body. I expand it all the way to the quantum field. Understanding I am a quantum Quark, breathing deeply, that yes, we are all individuals, but we are the quantum field. And so you allow your mind to raise to the quantum level and raise out of the day-to-day -day mire and murk that we all appear to be living in on this planet. And you just allow your mind to feel free out of the stories that are flying left, right, and center. Because we really live in a universe, in a world where there's electrons and protons all the time flying around us. So we want the mind to fly free now, to go to the quantum field where there is indeed peace. As you say, I open my mental body. I rest the higher mind in the matrices of creative power and I feed the lower mind with the deeper understanding of the blueprint of evolution for this planet and for the species that I have incarnated in breathing deeply. So you're feeding yourself from your own higher mind into the lower mind, reminding the lower mind that it's a quantum participant. And as you breathe deeply now, you allow yourself, if you will, to remember those beautiful blue and pink lines coming into your nostrils and to feel them, if you will, as huge energy fields, like ascended master energy fields. We won't give them a name. We want you to see this huge field of pink light as if it were sacred geometry. This huge energy of light blue light as if it were sacred geometry. It doesn't matter what the identification of these fields are, but you perceive these fields, fields that are so expanded that they include solar systems and planets and us. And so you're breathing in these fields of geometry into the body. And as you breathe it in through those lines of energy, through the chakras, through your own mouth, through your own nose, you're letting your body know there's a frequency adjustment happening to this planet and to our species and that you are a participant in the higher frequency adjustment that is happening. And you let your physical body know that you're grateful that it's here to walk, to talk, to be, to think, but that it has to carry this higher field now to stabilize. And as you do this, you allow yourself to see a beautiful ball of light around you we're going to work with white light today. Again, a ball of sacred geometry, kind of like Buckminster Fuller's dome, where we see we are a matrix of energy field. And you see this ball of white light, but you are not separate from it. In fact, your body is a crystallization of the ball of white light, of a frequency. That ball of light is your own soul. It is the gift of your own womb to return to time and time again at this time. 
your own place to receive. And in this matrix, all these geometries of this matrix include particulates of the various lives you have had before. The various lives you've had before. And as you do this, you happen to say, I open my etheric body. I breathe from that higher dimensional light body into my physical form. I receive resonating harmonic adjustment so I may carry more light into the matrix that I'm living in. I'm going to do a harmonic now before we begin with the questions. Rise now through your own portal of consciousness. Park the body now in this place called Earth. Rise upward through your own soul star. Allow yourself to remember who you are. Allow yourself to know you have lived many, many times. Rise now to the higher form. Rise now to the higher form. Let yourself know the higher form is you. Allow this body with its fatigue, allow this body with its fatigue, allow these personalities, allow these egos, allow these definitions of I to be parked while you yourself rise above through the glory of your own spirit to remember the peace that you are to remember the toolkit that you have is not of the substance of this earth. The toolkit that you have is the substance of your own solar matrix, which carries for you living geometric matrices of frequency, which you were able to access to assist you all the way down into this third dimensional form that you are operating on the third dimensional reality with. Fill yourself with the truth that you are a portal of energy. This body that you have is an amalgamation of karma, an amalgamation of lessons, an amalgamation of teachings, an amalgamation of cells, organs, glands, systems, systems, systems. This planet is an amalgamation of systems. These people on this planet are an amalgamation of genetic code. Now you breathe into that body that is yours. And you understand you are a code. You are a code. It is a code that can be manipulated. 
It is a code that can also be lifted from the highest planes and then brought in to the higher codes of your own universality into the genetic code that you were born into. And this is what is happening now in your lives. Now, you may say it may not be happening to all the people on the planet, but we say it is whether they know it or not. Some, of course, do not want to wake up to the universal understanding because when you are living at the universal understanding, you do not participate in the same way because you understand you are a filament of light. And this body is your globe. Breathing deeply. Allowing yourself to feel Mother Earth, to feel the glory of her manifestation, to feel the beauty of the geometry that is each and every creature here, breathing deeply. And now, as you all sit here, from this heightened understanding, what we want you each and all to do is to see within, not your mind's eye, but as if you were looking at the planet. And for a moment, you allow yourself to feel, remember, think, again, not to become this, but to feel it, understand it, the image of COVID virus. Everybody knows that image. It's projected 24-7 around your world. So we want you to see it as if it's an entity, breathing deeply, a manufactured entity, not a created entity, but it's there. It's a big ball with projections and spikes, breathing deeply, long and deep breaths. And now from this place where you have seen this beautiful geometry of pink and blue coming down through you, coming through your bodies, coming down into all the matrix, into the earth, we want you now to feel like you are breathing out that pink and blue light and you are breathing it directly to that COVID geometry that has been manufactured. Breathing deep. And you're not working against it. You're kind of tickling it to remind it that there is universal consciousness, that there is a higher order than that order which has been dominating at this level. Breathing deeply, long and deep breaths. And now, as hard as it is, we want you to see that blue and pink light going to the people who manufactured that reality, to the people who are using it as a weapon, to the people who are frightened of it, to the people who are feeling controlled by it. And we want you to see yourselves just putting the blue and pink all around and even seeing it go through to the center of that place. As you see the blue and pink lines of divine love and divine compassion going to the center of what has been created, manufactured to look like the COVID virus, you allow yourself to understand that you are permeating the whole story that is being created on the surface of the earth, the whole story of COVID, the whole story of all the lives affected, of all the businesses affected, of every aspect that is de determined and called COVID related. You are resonating that story with love and compassion. This is how it can be transmuted. You lift the old story of sickness, of death, of loss into the higher order of divine love and divine compassion. This you do in service 
to all people and to the earth. As you breathe in deeply, you realize the earth herself is allowing this play on her surface. But within her, there is great love and compassion for the outworking of the higher order to come into alignment now.